What's up guys, this is SMXD and today I'm back on Specs channel. I'm actually going to be commentating over one of his own gameplays. It's uh, Domination on Quarry. So I want to start this video by saying that I'm not actually going to be speaking that much about the gameplay itself. Um, I'm going to be speaking about a couple of other things. So you guys can sit and watch the gameplay. Um, Remember to like the video and comment in the comment section. Um, so yeah, first thing I want to ask you guys is what do you guys want to see from Specs? Because as his subscribers, you guys are, you know, you guys are the ones that decide ultimately if his videos are a success or a failure. Um, to put it bluntly, so if you guys want to see some gameplay commentaries from him. Um, let him know in the comment section, I'm sure he could do that. Uh, if you guys want to see some dual commentaries, or... You know, just any kind of commentaries, let him know. Um, if you guys want to see him play a certain game, um, I'm sure he could do that for you guys as well, get you some footage of that. And if you guys want to see some montages or mini -tages, um, you know, I'm sure he could accommodate that for you guys as well. So let him know in the comment section. Right there, gets killed with the WA2000, and I, I, you know I think that's a, a ridiculous choice of gun for Infinity War to even consider putting in the game. Because I don't know if you guys know, but the WA2000 is a German sniper rifle uh, that originated in the early 1970s, and there was only, to my knowledge, about 13 ever made. So, for them to put that in their game, it just you know I think. And they would have been better off with one of the COD 4 snipers like the R700 or even the Dragunov was... I quite liked the Dragunov in COD 4 even though I didn't use it too much but when I did it was quite good and uh, there's that guy still sitting there with his W2000 um, and I think that's a real problem in Modern Warfare 2 maybe not so much now but certainly when the game came out camping was just fucking retardedly ridiculous um, in this game, you know, like, um, it, like, yeah. there are big maps with plenty of places to hide, which I think, that, I think that was a slight mistake from Infinity Ward, um, you know, maybe putting as, not as many places to hide would have been a better idea for them, but, um, you know, what can you do, it's, uh, Call of Duty, you're always going to get campers, um, like that guy in there, in the corner, just spraying, probably off the hip. <laughs> and as I'm looking at the kill feed here, I can see plenty of UMP 45s. And I just want to start, I just want to say even that the UMP 45 is just, like, Infinity Ward, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, you know, you could probably be 100% sure that when they were getting this game ready, they were looking to see what people didn't like about other qualities. So, you know, they probably, somewhere along the line, found out that people didn't like the MP40 from, you know, World at War, it enraged people. So what did they do? They put in an SMG that is so much more powerful than the MP40, and it's just ridiculous, but I'm not going to bitch about this game anymore. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, past that point. Um, so yeah. Um, back to what I was talking about. Yeah. So just let them know what you guys want to see. Basically, is the moral of that story. Uh, yeah. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is XL Cinema. Um, both me and Specs have become members of XL Cinema, which is a new community-based channel. Um, Specs is one of their editors. I'm sure you guys know how good he is um, at editing. And I've become one of the commentators. So I'll be commentating the top five plays week two. I'll be doing that. It should be Saturday. This is Tuesday today. And uh, right there, you can see Modern Warfare 2's fantastic servers. The multi million pound servers just doing fantastic there. Um, so yeah, back to XL Cinema. Um, so yeah, if you guys could go and show your support to them, I'm sure Specs will put their link in the description. 
and if he doesn't, then just search it, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, so you can see he's just, you, you know, he's keeping people away from B uh, with his sniper, and then that guy sitting up the back there, failing at hard scoping. Uh, and I've just noticed Specs get yet another headshot. And most of his kills this game, apart from his air support and predator missiles, have been headshots. And I think that's, I think in Modern Warfare 2, headshots are easier to come by than COD 4. Like, COD 4, it was 150 headshots for Red Tiger, as it is in this game. And it would take me quite a while to get that. Um, but in Modern Warfare 2, I think I had full camo. Um, probably second out of my friends list back when the game came out and that was you know the game came out was it was it October or November one of the two maybe in September um, just gonna give you guys the entire months here um, but yeah I think I, I think it was about the second week maybe a week and a half after the game's release I got full camo and um, for the Xbox and then on the PS3 I got full camo at about two weeks, um, maybe a bit less than that. So I just think headshots are easier to come by in this game. I don't know why. Maybe the intervention, you know, the way it scopes in or the, the way it kicks when you shoot it. But, but yeah, basically I just think it's a little easier. And um, yeah. So as you can see, Specs here, a couple of guys in the other team are pushing to try and take C. Specs runs up and just stops that dead in its tracks. Jumps out of the way with his high sensitivity. I think he's showing it off his high sensitivity guys because <laughs> he used to play in 6 or 7 on COD 4. So <laughs> he's just showing off now that he's on 9 or 10. So yeah, if you see him flying about the map crazy then you know why. Um, and this is, I just wanted to say, I see a lot of people, um, I'm not going to, in fact I will, I see people like Wings of Redemption's fans, um, even Wings of Redemption himself, and they say quick scoping is not effective, and you know, Specs is proven right here, quick scoping is every bit as effective as using an MP5, um, or you know, an ACR, because he's defending C, and keeping people off A, eh, off B, sorry, with his sniper. Um, you know, so I don't understand. There's that guy again, fucking camping prick. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. So I don't understand how people can say quick scoping is not effective. I think if quick scoping is done right, it's every bit as effective as anything else. And you see him coming back to secure C because. There's another headshot as well, because that guy is trying to take C. Um, and there's a multi-million pound spawn system coming into play. Wow, Modern Warfare 2 is doing great so far. Um, Spec spawns behind the guy. Um, I'm not saying in COD 4 that didn't happen, because it did. But I'm just saying, you know, you'd have thought it would have been fixed quite a bit better than that for Modern Warfare 2. So, um... Yep, the game is wrapping up, guys. Specs with another quick scope. Uh, I think he's done a very good job this game of defending C and looking after B. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm just going to wrap this video up now. Thank you very much for allowing me to commentate on your page, Specs. Hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. Remember to tell him what you want to see in the comment section. I'm sure he will accommodate that. Uh, final score for Specs was, hurry up and bring up the scoreboard, was 31 and 11. Uh, I've been SMXD and I will see you guys later.